All right, guys. Back. Let's get this going. We're getting to the very end of this. All right, we need to go there. We we'll have to check those last couple ones out. As we like get closer towards the like end of this. Hey! What hey. The That's right, he was dying. Teachers, Hemingway, y'all. You chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. A dirty hair, the boy. Swinging sticks and running through the mud. Dreaming of glory. Sad. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of the Shire.
The nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Perfect figure you have. Poised, powerful, perfect. Me? Mm, yes. I cannot help but wonder, is your flighting as striking as you? How do you mean? I draw smiles from the women and winks from the men. I'm a poetry lover who's skilled with his pen. If you fancy a round, then approach and come speak. If you're lustful for verse, then I've got what you see. I will flight with you. Perfect. Would you like to make it uh, interesting? With a wager, I mean. My wager? Thank you. Are we ready? Let us begin. What know you of the power of fleets to seduce? Are you even aware that they have such a use? See, your weapon lies not in your belt, but your head. With words, I'll ensnare you and put you to bed. Yes! I could feel when you entered, the room became warm. Though I doubted your flighting, I quite liked your form. Oh, weird. On your every word, I can say that I'm hung. Huh? I'm as good with my lips as I am with my tongue. Yes, more! I could fleet more sweet nothings inside of your ear. Though I warn you, there's some of the lewdest you'll hear. But instead of just telling, I'll happily show. You are not so appealing, and thus I say no. You're brilliant. Are you certain I can't convince you to tarry a moment? We uh, could go somewhere and... Um... It was only a flight. My winnings, please. Yes, of course. I was only... It was just a game, yes? Friendly banter? Weird. It's been a true pleasure. <laughs> No. Alright. That was completely weird, not gonna lie. But he is no mere man. He is a yard amongst yards. A man of honor to whom he owed much. Oh, over there. 
Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Yab. The celebration will last many days. How soon till we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trifli. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingr Yarm. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later, to save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigve is Hemthoth's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming a yarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemminger desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. Okay, sorry, I was muted. Alright. Let's go let's do Rowdy Raiders, because it looked like to be the closest one, right? Yeah.
This is an outrage! Our strong feelings for Hemming come with much grief. Festive? Too festive, and too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyre's lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trupi. I will do what I can to calm things. Find and calm guests around. Be my eyes, Sudan. All right, there's some over there. They are going to kill him. I told him not to do it. No, he's not. Come out, you dung eating rat. What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I will speak with him, unmask his true intentions. Get that stain out here now! God! The people are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here on your own before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please! There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. <laughs> You've got the key! Use it! You'll pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough! Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Hemminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Was it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord. Hemminger was never one to weave over a bit of rain. Neither should you. He insulted our noble dead. Hemminger would laugh at the very idea. Go, my eyes. Lord, this is, I'm sorry, I keep muting myself. What is this boda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. 
Oh, shit. for your your voter as you say ah balls i dragged it all the way from Rus. it is back to water ale for me i suppose if you drink enough ale is a fine fix to any problem very true very true join me if you desire a bit of drink in the belly never hurt oh lord Maybe I should have done this one last. Have a look, Sunan. Saxon did what? How dare he insult our culture? He's a dead man if I ever get my hands on him. There it is. What do you see? See, warrior, see! Whiskey's horde lays waste here! You mean the fingers famous fighting rules? Dragons with mighty claws! Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. Oh, when you sober up, steer clear of roosters. Order seems to have been restored. Now of Trippy. Hold on, guys. sack of meat with the roosters what an arsehole <laughs> why is everybody so shocked to see me i've calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief they mourn it is to be expected still thank you and how do you feel old friend i mourn more deeply than most i think heminger would be proud of what you have accomplished here all you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trippy. But time. Yes, it will. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do that one. Well, I was trying to jump on the tree, but I guess not. This is an excellent shield, sir. Gunnar's craft never disappoints. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good. It needs a touch of grandeur, something personal for your father. A setio, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkathorpe? She lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. 
And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The arts are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. Come on, guys. Hold on one second, guys. I gotta fix my screen. Okay, now I can switch it back. There. There we go. All right, we gotta find this cave. I 
need oh, your it's eyes. way over there. Didn't realize we're gonna be way over there. All right, sorry guys. Search for the X. You are a difficult man to find. Uh. Heminger Jarl is dead. Mm. I was told you are a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heminger Jarl. The stones. Heminger Jarl possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Ah, oh, hell. That was easy. Your heart is not yet steady. How could it be at such a time? Heming Jarl's heart never wavered. In life.
life it did not. But in death it lies as still as a stone. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? Wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of weirs, then. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Emig Vigal desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place. That is for Billy to decide. Billy has no say. Fate has already decided. Hemingga will be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Billy has found his spear. Collecting stone. You just sitting there waiting. All right. Okay. I feel like we have to go way over there. Show me what lies ahead. Kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemingway left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. 
Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jotun, before the pyre is lit. Follow. The follow, but you're not getting up. Serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingriar with ale and open arms. What the fuck? How should you get him to follow? Do you have the gift of foresight, Zia? Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less, lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the god's wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. See you, old friend. Meditation Peak. Alright, well while we're here, let's do this synchronization point before we go too far. <laughs> 